Alright, so we've come to that time of the year again. Time to go after the naughtiest little fairy mischiefs you'll ever see and feed them with a healthy dose of lead. And just to clarify straight away, yes, this is entirely within our rights here in South Africa. Our law states that we can hunt these monkeys all year round with no bag limit and there's a good reason for that. There are too many of them in certain parts of the country and they can be an absolute nuisance. Many farmers go the route of setting up monkey and baboon traps which are essentially cages that are easy to climb into but impossible to get out of but the animals are clever and they learn to keep away from the traps. So we prefer to use a combination of firearms, normally varminting calibers like the 22 to 50 Remington and PCP air guns like the FX Impact which allows us to dispatch them quietly at close range without worrying about what lies a mile behind them. So with the formality behind us, let's get straight to it. I actually had many opportunities with the air gun from close range on this trip and I think that's probably due to the fact that they've had quite a bit of rain recently here. The bushes are much greener and the monkeys think that we can't see them when they hide. They don't feel exposed like they did during the drought and so provided you can actually find them through the scope, which is easier said than done, picking them off can be pretty straightforward. The setup I'm using here is actually a special edition FX Impact Mark II that's available through Utah Air Guns. I'll put a link down below. It's got an Element Nexus scope on top, which is what I'm filming the scope cam footage with. I managed to get a few in one sequence here, thanks to the quietness of the setup, and they all went down quickly and humanely, which is what we want. I would never usually take a heart and lung shot with a pellet, but this setup is launching 34 grain javelin slugs at close to 1000 feet per second. That's over 70 foot pounds of energy compared to the 30 foot pounds that you'd normally expect from a 22 caliber air gun like this, and those massive hollow points ensure really, really good terminal performance. This was my first shot of the trip with the 22 to 50 from really close and also my first miss which shows that more power doesn't necessarily guarantee better success. I had to take a standing shot here on the run which really wasn't easy. I thought I timed it pretty well but he escapes completely unscathed. Another one shows himself in a tree a little further out. This time it's a sitting shot. I miss focus here a bit and have some high grass directly in front of my scope but I absolutely middle this one. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. This one was about 80 yards away and the slug switches him off instantly but have you ever seen a vapor trail like this from an air gun before? I certainly haven't. Perhaps the light and atmospheric conditions were just perfect but comment down below if you think you know what may have caused this. I'm very very curious. Bottom, yeah. There's one at the back there. This was without a doubt my favorite shot of the whole trip. He ran a bit further than what I had dialed yeah. for, so I had to hold an extra mill, but the slug curls in nicely from about 110 meters and lands right on top of his head. Ah, oh, gone. I'm going to call this monkey Lot's wife. <laughs> I know it's a male, but you should have never looked back. Rule number one in monkey survival class should be run and don't look back at any point. <laughs> I like to take prone shots whenever possible, especially when shooting at these distances with an air gun. But because of the long grass, most of these shots were taken standing using cattle rails or fence posts or trees as support. You won't be 100% steady, 
with a setup like this, but if your trigger pull is timed correctly, you should be able to reach pretty far. I've actually set my trigger to one stage instead of two stage for this very reason. Many people think that I hate monkeys, but that's not entirely true. I don't particularly like vervet monkeys, but we actually have two species in South Africa, and the other species, the Samango monkey, actually has quite a pleasant temperament. Samango monkeys look similar to vervets from a distance, but their faces are quite different. Vervets have this mischievous look on their face that makes your trigger finger itch a bit, <laughs> while the Samangos look more like wise old men that could tell you stories in front of a fireplace in the winter. While the vervets are classified as least concern, the Samangos are much rarer. They are protected, as they should be, and it would be nice to see their population grow. Part of the problem though is that they are only found in very specific habitats. I captured this footage high up in an Afromontane forest, and unfortunately these forests are disappearing quite quickly, threatening the entire species. But anyway, back to the shooting. Oh, there's one. So that was awesome. That happened really quickly. We were just driving back home after shooting the Dussies on the way to the farmhouse to have a, a lunch with Anton's family. And we stopped here at Anton's dad's lands where he irrigates and spotted a few monkeys so I pulled out the 22 250 don't know what range it was but I dialed to 200 and just aimed, aimed dead on and uh, took the shots I must say I'm really enjoying the, the dot in the center on the uh, on the reticle on the the helix element helix scope um, it's a little bit bigger than the dot on the Nexus but if you're taking quick shots like we're doing now you, I, I want to be able to get my eye on it really quickly and just shoot and so I've been able to just put the dot on the monkeys quickly, take a shot, reload, take another shot, and it's been awesome. So let's see if we can get them. So here's the first one I shot. This one is, was on the lands. The second one must be around here somewhere. I think it was further to the right. Okay, somewhere around here. He was about to climb into the trees. And there's our second monkey. On the road again. I'm so glad to be on the road again. It's our last afternoon at Vitmos Kloof and with only a few hours of sunlight left, we head out into a field on the neighbor's farm that had proven to be a hot spot the previous day. These fields are right against the hillside and the monkeys seem to come down the hills and raid the fields quite regularly. The day before we'd made quick work of a troop of monkeys just as the sun went down with the 22 to 50 from between 150 and 250 meters and we were hoping for more of the same today. To be honest I actually prefer taking shots from slightly longer distances because you have a little more time to get comfortable and set up. Here's an opportunity I got from much closer and I should have got this one down easily but again I had to take a standing shot with no support and I just pulled it last moment. The next few, however, are not so lucky. These guys didn't give me much time to take the shot, but I was in a way more comfortable position with a bar pod and sandbag and that makes all the difference. They don't like to hang around but as long as the center dot is on target, the 50 grand VMAX at 3800 feet per second doesn't give them any chance. At this point, having hogged all the fun to myself, I hand over the rifle to Anton Jr. and his friends and they make the opportunity count. Okay, you're gonna, yeah, it's low. Say focus, say focus lekker. Yeah, it's right. Okay, it's 200 meters and it's still standing still. Okay, on the 
It sounded solid. Oh, well, folly. <laughs> mm. Oh, and down he goes. Get the mantle. Die in. Say, I last in. Okay, guys. Come on, was all over the dam, but to act the two chips was it drugs. Talk to my eight singum now. Don't buy draw a tender. I won't be. How so now? You know, and zoom you. I can. I can't show you what you said. That's good. Oh, did I miss him? No, no, what? That's all. I think he's dead. Well guys, with that we bring another Oxwagon Diary season to an end. It's always a bittersweet moment. Well, more bitter than sweet I'd say. Uh, I had such an awesome time once again. It was very different this time. I think the past few episodes, um, you know, the past few seasons have been fairly similar aside from, you know, changes in equipment and, and, and things like that. But I think if I'd actually brought some of those guys with and done the same routine in the same places it might have got a bit repetitive so although it was uh, difficult to film by myself and and uh, you know not have someone else with with camera knowledge like like Gerard for example last time or Richard um, I think we uh, did a really good job with what we had especially you know with the opportunities that opened up hunting on, on different properties so I do want to say thank you to the neighbor uh, Um Wenzel he owns a, a hunting uh, safari company called Waterfall uh, Safaris, which I'll link down below. They've got great animals there if you want to check it out. Um, this place, the Wittmoskloof Oxwagen Camp, is open if you want to come uh, stay out here. There's no electricity and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, you need to rough it a little bit, but if you want an escape from the city, then it's a great place to stay. They don't offer hunting quite yet. That we're working on that and then obviously i want to say thanks to the neighbors that we hunted at today um, they were so hospitable and just really nice guys so at the end of the day although it was a challenge to film by myself with with no help um, it ended up working out really great so it's sad that i have to go home uh, back into to lockdown you know staying inside wearing a mask all of that out here where there's no one else you can kind of escape it but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be well worth it. I'm looking forward to going home and editing everything. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. I'm going to enjoy my meat. I'm going to look at the stars one last time before I head home to the city tomorrow. <laughs>